So if you live in a community with a homeowners association, you know the fees can be a hassle, but you at least expect to get some services out of it. Neighbors in one part of the metro say their HOA is not holding up its end of the deal. Feliz Romero looked into their HOA frustrations and where this money is supposed to be going, Feliz. Julie, residents in Northern Meadows tell me maintenance requests are taking months, even years to get filled. And even at that, it's rare they're getting done. I took those concerns to the HOA to get some answers. Residents in Northern Meadows are fed up. For the first 10, 15 years, we had no problems. But in the last 10 years, it's when kaput. Leaking sprinklers and dead trees are just a couple of issues that came to mind when longtime homeowner Edward Urich told us about his problems with the HOA. Every time I've had issues with my lawn and I've called, I've never had uh, anybody come out and take care of my problems. I've had to take care of them all myself. So the big question for the homeowners is if they're not doing anything to our yards, why are we paying 50 bucks a month? He and his neighbor had dead trees that needed to be removed from their yards. He says his request was never filled and the HOA told his neighbor it was on her to remove it. So she asked me, can I do something for her? And I said, yeah, no problem. The neighbor down the block had a chainsaw and he's got a fireplace and so we cut it up and he took the, the wood home and uses the wood. But the question remains, what do the HOA fees cover and who's responsible? We went right to the source. The dues are for administration fees and also largely in our community, they're for landscaping. And it turns out they're aware of the issues homeowners are up against. Their best course of action is to do what they're doing, is to make a ticket and to complain to the manager, and the manager is doing a brilliant job of following up with these complaints. Um, we're having a hard time, and uh, yes, I, I, I do hear the complaints that come in. With no real solution, residents are crossing their fingers and hoping for more transparency. Whatever contract they sign with the company that's doing the yard work is really bad, and you know, like I said, I. I think it's some money's being transferred underneath the table. I just don't know. But yeah, they, uh, again, my yard only looks good because I'm out here watering every night. The vice president of the HOA tells me there's another meeting on August 28th at 6 p.m. where homeowners can further voice their concerns. We'll be following up and seeing how things go. Back to you. All right, Felice, thank you.